Welcome to Fridays with Tab and Chance. I am Tabitha Brown, and this is my husband. Chance, what's up? Bring the beat in. Wait, wait a minute. You know this is a special episode, so you gotta really, you gotta bring, like we gotta bring it in, and we gotta do something special because it's we celebrating fifty years of hip hop. Fridays, Fridays, Fridays with Tab and Chance. But on, 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 I said it's Friday. Friday. What? Man, I said we gotta do something special because it's hip hop. We gotta. What you doing? You hear that when she tried to slip in there? I said her. Babe, it's a I said her. It's the fifty <laughs> years of hip hop, babe. All right. Um, okay. All right. Okay. Started. We're going from the top. If you want to do something special, you add it in there. Fridays, Fridays, Fridays with Tab and Chance. But I said it's Friday, Friday, <laughs> Friday, <laughs> Fridays with Tab and Chance. Man, come on, we supposed to be doing a Fridays with like a hip hop spin on it. Look, we even Baptists. We supposed to like at I least told start you, it up a little bit. I told you, you messing up my relationships, babe. DJ Khali, Swiss get Beats, sleep, my guy. with they, 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 that you. This is you. You whacking it up, babe. Not, no, I'm not. It, yes, I'm, you are. I'm giving it hip hop no, celebration. No, no, no. You talking about? I said. Uh, hey, hey. <laughs> Right you know Friday. how old you sound? I said it's Fridays to have <laughs> no, the no. chance. No, no, no. <laughs> It'll make you dance. Hey, hey. <laughs> Come on, you're supposed to be in it with me, babe. Uh, no, I'm not with you on this. I'm not with you on babe. this. Babe. Well, okay, well, what you going to do for Fridays with have a chance? No, we did it. We did it. We're gonna you didn't do it. We're you haven't ruined it. it. Right now, we probably could have like, recorded that. No, I didn't want to record that. I'm talking about we could have laid down the track. I don't want to lay that. That's but one you that you act and whack that's the on one, Friday. That's the one you hit the, the trash chance. on. That's the one but you... I'm going to give you one more chance. No. No. Mm -mm. Welcome to Friday, September 10th. <laughs> Some people, they don't want to let you be great. You know, I've been watching the, um, what is it, the, the women in hip hop, that, that whole documentary. And right now, I'm feeling, I understand how them women have been treated all these years, not been given a fair chance. Which and women are you comparing yourself to? All the MCs. So I can tell you what all the problem Queen is. All Queen Latifah. That was not MC Queen Latifah. I'm saying that. I can understand because right now, it, that was not I'm MC trying to be a female that was not lyricist. That was, right listen, now, I'm that was not Roxanne. Be, Rox, that was I'm, none of that. I'm that was to be, not and it. And you see how you're trying to, you see how you're trying to, um, I'm trying, to, no, I'm trying Instead to help you. uplift a woman in hip hop right now? No, I'm not uplifting that woman. I said a <laughs> I said a <laughs> Because I was giving old school hip hop. No, uh uh. Mm -mm. Anywho, we're going to play a game that will spark some conversation. So this is Trivia Swag. Can y'all see it? Trivia Swag, hip hop edition. I said a hip hop, a hippie to the hippie to hip hop. You don't want to do that either? No, nah, that's fine. That's fine, but it ain't. Yeah. It don't go in the Fridays. You can't remix that into that. Babe, for go. a special edition. No, nah, I don't. Mm -mm. With nothing special about it. Come on, duck. With nothing. <laughs> Man, okay. <clears throat> so this is so there. So this is the hip hop edition, but it has like freestyle, R and B, and rap. So I'm I'm gonna start with rap. So what you do is you pull one, right, and then. Don't, don't be trying to cheat. You can pull one for me. And I have a question on here. You see who can answer it. And then we'll talk about, like, if we remember that time or whatever, it might spark a conversation. It's too easy. We'll see about it. First one, I'm going to ask you, babe. In 1986, <laughs> mm. Walk This Way featuring Steven Tyler and Joe Perry charted number four on the Billboard Hot 100. Walk This Way. Who was the, who, who were the artist? Run DMC. Okay. That's easy. All right. I don't know if I would have got it. Just joking. You would. Just joking. <laughs> I would have got it. 
Okay, All right. get to me. In 2004, their debut album was, le was released, The College Dropout. Oh, Kanye West. That's too easy, man. man. We, That's too that, easy. That was a Kanye Mine we, was hard. That was a Kanye we all <laughs> love. Let me tell you about right, this Kanye, though. We're gonna, let's talk about this. College Dropout, like, first of all, Through the Wire, when that single dropped. Through the Wire, we're living through the world. Uh-uh. You, no. <laughs> if you want to stop me early, I'm going to stop you there. Right. Okay, I'm with you when you're right. You're right. <laughs> right now, you, you're wrong. Uh, but that song, I remember listening to it and crying. And I think I might have shared this before. So we was in North Carolina. This was before we had moved. But I used to be driving to Wilmington, North Carolina, to do, to go do extra work. Mm -hmm. Right? So it was about like a three-hour drive. Just do extra work. And for for One Tree Hill, about forty five dollars. If I think it was sixty four dollars, <laughs> not the taxes, eight hours, sixty four. When it get to me, what? okay. For the, for the but dream, for the it dream. Was, it was for the experience, which was priceless. And I would listen to that song, and man, I would be emotional, and I was like, man, you you gotta go get it, Tab. Like Kanye was so like that back then. It was such a movement. It was so inspirational. And after that, I was like, man, I'm ready, I'm ready to go back to L.A. So it's one of my memories. It's a core memory for me. And then I remember us moving to L.A. And I remember when College Dropout, you know, the album hit and everybody was listening to it in their cars. Like you pull up at a stoplight. Mm -hmm. I remember I was leaving um, Macy's and I was at a stoplight and I, could, I had it playing in my car. But next to me, it was like an Asian guy and a white guy in their car, and they was like, we kind of looked at each other like, this, that thing, that thing going. I, I remember learning about him, his his mouth really being wired. Yeah, and that's trying what I'm to hear saying. It, and trying to hear it in the music. I was, I remember listening like, this dude's mouth is wired. Yeah. Um, Spit my soul through the wire. Let I was me like, ask Whoa. you. Yeah. Let me ask you this though. Yeah. Is that his number one song? <clears throat> oh. Have your favorite? Is that your favorite? No, I mean, it has a special place in my heart, but he got so many, like, oh, oh, Kanye. I know mine. I know all my I, I love Jesus Walks, too. Jesus Walks. Yeah. And wait till yeah. I get my money right. Uh, listen, I, 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 wait till I get my money right. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Then you can't tell me nothing. Then right, right. listen. Yeah. They're my three. It them was, are my three. Man. All listen. If people man. say what they want to say, those are my three. I play hey, yeah. on repeat. That's it right there. Oh kind of, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. I listen. I am down for. <clears> what do you remember about Run D and C? Uh, Adidas, my Adidas, and how fly they was. The gold, like the whole. That's what I remember. Image. Then, I mean, because we were so young when they were out, but I just remember thinking, man, they are so cool. Yeah, I just remember them Dookie ropes. That's yeah. that's all I, I, I think about is the Dookie ropes. I, I I literally have yeah. one, and I dress it up, and then sometimes I put it on when I have my Adidas suits yeah. on. When somebody put one on, and they put on one of the hats, the uh, what is it, the uh, fedoras. Oh, you mean the bucket hat? The bucket hat. Yeah, 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 yeah. When they put one of those on, all I think about is Run DMC. Yeah, but uh, Apion be doing it all yep. the time. That's yeah. it. That's it. Classic. Classic. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, go ahead. You have one. All right, so now look, look, look. You got, we're going to keep pulling for rap or yeah, we're going to pull we, from R&B? It's hip hop. We're doing hip hop. Okay. I'm going to pull mine from right here. But you're pulling it from R&B. It's hip hop. So you always like to just. Come on, babe. Game. I'm gonna pull mine from right here. Let me see. It's your. It's my turn to ask you, though, ain't it? Okay. Oh. <laughs> now you 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 definitely gotta get this. Go for it. The Southern Playalistic Duo. Outcast. <laughs> Southern playlist. <laughs> certain words. Ah. Certain words that you just gonna say. But let me finish it for the people. They formed in 1992, composed of two Atlanta-based rappers with a hint. The hint is, roses smell like boo-boo. <laughs> Man, outcast. Outcast. 
Yep. I saw them at concert. All right. In the yep. 90s. I at, did too. At, at A&T Homecoming. Yeah. Yep. I'm going to wait and ask my question before we talk about Outkast. Okay, okay. All okay. right. I searched the whole world for that special girl, and when I finally find you, watch our love unfurl. I need love. Oh, this is LL. If he wouldn't have put that I need love at the end, you no, wouldn't have known that one. I would have known it. You just didn't wrap it correctly. Yeah, because I searched the whole world <laughs> for the special girl. I did that intentionally, too. <laughs> Uh, the whole all right, so listen, out of, out, out of respect, out of respect, we're going to talk about LL first. Oh, LL Cool J. It's hard as hell. Back. I don't care, you too. I excel. And they all failed. Oh. LL. My first memory of LL, my cousin Renee. Yeah. <laughs> My cousin Renee was in love with this man. I'm talking about every girl in love in with that, this man. In that era, the generation was in love with LA. In love with him. Yeah. I just remember her having his poster on the wall, and he had the dookie rope on. He too, had the dookie the, rope the, with no shirt on. He had no shirt on in, in this poster, and he had. Oh, the and that's what it was. It was the Kango <clears throat> hat. Yeah, the Kango. Yeah, 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 yeah. The Kango. Yeah. He had, and she and absolutely adored this man. And she played I Need Love. It seemed like every day over one summer, every day <laughs> you would wake up to this song being My on. sister did the same. Playing I Need Love. Yeah, LL was the man. I feel like LL played a role in, in guys trying to walk around with, without their shirt on. See, I was so young, I wasn't doing that. But I'll tell you what I was doing, though. I was licking them lips, though, for them girls. So you was walking around ashy lip. Because the more you lick them, chapstick. the ashy they got. And then if you ain't had no chaps, That gave me a reason to lick them again. <laughs> gave me again. <laughs> I was wondering, I mean, back then, I guess PR won't like a big thing. But LL should have had a chapstick endorsement. Man. Everybody. And, and guess like, who would have bought it? Yeah, listen, I'm going to say this right now, L. If you wanted to come out with your own chapstick right now, it would still make money. And guess, Everybody would and buy guess it. who's gonna buy it? Yeah. I'm still gonna buy it. Yeah. yeah. I always I always feel some kind of way when they start. LL talking Cool about Stick. It. Instead of when? Chapstick, LL <laughs> Cool Stick. You're welcome. I only need 10%. All right. Call me later. Okay. Let me run in that commercial with you though, bro. <laughs> um, what you gonna do with the commercial bag? Oh, ooh, I mm. I got it. I got okay. the lid down. But, A lot of people who did that in that upper link, that upper lip was stinking. <laughs> <laughs> Cause then they start doing this, and then they're on right. So y'all make sure y'all get it back into that licking the lips, brush that tongue, make sure them <laughs> teeth is br that's right, Blackie. Make sure that breath hey, is right. I always feel some kind of way um, in discussions when people talk about, <laughs> and this and this might be a debate for another time, but I'm just curious to just how you feel. When they start talking about the greats, the greatest of all times in hip hop, yeah, I always think about LL. I always think about how he has survived, yeah, and the eras in which he played, and how you can play his music now. Because mm -hmm. you know, I played in practice. Yeah, I play LL in practice, like yeah. to the point where now where the kids who were born in two thousand and twelve, yeah. <laughs> They know the lyrics to LL. I always feel some kind of way when his name is not mentioned. And when his name ain't mentioned, I'm like, y'all disrespectful. <laughs> I'm putting cases on, on wall. <laughs> How you not mentioning LL? LL is a historic figure, just like Run DMC. Like they are historic. In the hip hop community, no disrespect to Run DMC, right? But, but I ain't but, talking about that with LL. But, but what I'm saying is like they they're really in a category by themselves. No, L I think a lot of times when you hear people be like top five, it's because like they talking about lyricists. They talking about like all right, we're gonna be we're gonna come on benefit. We'll talk about this later. No, I'm just saying <laughs> I think that's you know because they be like Biggie, Pop, like I think they talking about lyricists. LL also like made you dance like he was an entertainer. That's right. He could do. So you can't he, be a lyricist me, and not can't. You, yes, oh, he, come do, on. he do both. He do. He come did on. it for the ladies. He battle rapped, 
Hey, man, come on. L L made you it. dead. I get it, but what I'm saying is got I think metaphors, he in a, a category by himself. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, so you wanted them people. Pick a card, Let's any pick card, card. Pick a card, any card. Let's do it. Mm, can't believe you. So, I love LL. Do you know what LL stands for? Ladies love. Okay, I want to make sure I'm just checking. Baby. I ain't want to have to pull your card. You don't even understand. Your black card is what I meant. Mm. Okay, let me see. Next one. Oh, this... I gotta pick another one. Why? It it gave me that card twice. Oh, okay. Let's pick another one. Oh well, I, I'm gonna go and read this one while you pick one. Go ahead. In 1997, <clears throat> this rap artist was 24 years old when he was gunned down and killed in Los Angeles. Biggie, Christopher Wallace. Man, we lost a good one there. 24. My God. You're not gonna get this one. How you know what I'm not gonna get? Make sure you read it properly and not. Okay. Who is Dwayne Michael Carter Jr.? Dwayne Michael Carter Jr. You can ask for. Is I it Jay Z? I got one hint. You want no, a hint? No, I'm thinking Carter. You want a hint? Dwayne Michael. Yeah, what's the hint? Oh yeah, you're supposed to get a hint on the card. No, I'm not. No, you're I'm supposed not, to get I'm a not hint. Suppo- no, after you fail. Oh, I know who it is. Who? It's a card of three. It is Lil Wayne. <laughs> it's Lil Wayne. See? You told her, didn't you? <laughs> I, but I, I already are. started No, nah, you didn't. No, hey, you I know did who it, baby. Yeah. I know. Uh-uh. I know. Uh-uh. Okay. We're going to get the biggie. Fire. We're going to get the biggie. What, that's what I was going to ask you. What's your favorite? Oh, what is your my God. favorite Lil Wayne song? You only get one. You I, only you get, can't one. get one. You get with Lil one. Wayne. You get one. Pick one. No. We are, 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 well, give, what's your, I say, I like that album. I like that entire album. That was, Let's see. I play that, I play that now. Lollipop was nice. Oh, Lollipop was, that's that album. I'm telling you, that, yeah. that album, that's the best Lil Wayne album. That was it right there. But you know, I did like when he, you talking about Mr. Officer. Mr. But Officer. I, I liked when he did the, uh, what's the, um, is it, is it Mr. Carter? Yeah. Is that the name of the yeah. song? It's just too many. I'm looking at all these. I'm like. Yeah. yeah, that's that whole album right there. It's hard to pick. It's hard to pick on that album. That's one of them albums where you like, mm. you don't have, you, you not pushing fast forward on nothing. You're going to listen to that from beginning to end. And but anybody listen, who if you put, if you you put Lil Wayne on a remix or something. See, that's different, though. That's different. You preparing yeah, yourself yeah, yeah. for like. That's, that's What's good. the he did the one remix with uh with Kanye? What was the song? And when he got on there, he was like, "You ain't it was it? Oh, you ain't finna murder me like everybody else." What's oh, the, what's, uh, what song what, was that? Yeah, he did that. Uh, yeah, but what was the song? Want that a Lil Wayne song? Uh, uh, oh, he was on there. What song was that? Hold on. I, I can't think of it. I can't think of it. Let me see. Mm. That was where Ye was like, nah. Uh, you ain't, I know exactly what you, I know, that you, I can't think of it. Back I got it, I got it, I got to find it. Oh, that was it. That was the, that was the Lollipop remix. That's what it was? Yeah. That was the remix? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Lollipop went hard. Yeah. I just oh, love Wayne, Lil Wayne, Wayne, though. Wayne went for a run where it was like, hey. Lil Wayne is easy in like lyricist top five. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Easy. Absolutely. Yeah. I, yeah, absolutely. It ain't too many baby, people that I love him. It ain't gonna be too many people that gonna argue with and you. And he that. a genuine spirit. Every time yeah, I've ever it. seen an interview, any person I've ever um, met or have watched who said they encounter him, it's consistent. Like they yeah. all say the same thing about him. Yeah. Like he's like a, a good soul. So, Great dude. Um, B, <clears throat> let's talk about him. I feel like. Uh, Man. 97, we graduated from high school. 
Mm -hmm. I remember the day I found out. I, I remember exactly what was. It was March, right? It was. When did Biggie die? He died, I feel like, March. I just know it was spring. I remember it, it snowed that day. I and it was a weird day. It, it, it was snowing. No, I don't remember that, man. But I. It was March 9th. It I, snowed. And I, I remember thinking, it's snowing. I remember um, who told me. My cousin Peter came over and he told me. Mm -hmm. And he, he came and he, well, it was the, I think it was the, the, the morning after he came over and he told me. And he, in the fashion in which he told me, you would have thought that we were related. Yeah. Like I, he came over. Everybody and he, was hurt. Like, Lord. He, he, he like told me in a, like a gentle way, like, mm -hmm. hey man, did you hear that? I'm like, man, what's going on? I'm thinking he getting ready to say like one of our relatives or something. You know, and he shared it with me, and I remember I was just disappointed. Yeah. More so, I was hurt, but yeah. <clears throat> it was one of those moments where I was concerned about us. I think it was probably one of the first, one of the no, no, because it pop was first. I just remember really concerning about us as a people, mm. even in my young age, thinking like, man. Like, what are we doing? Like, what is, what's wrong with our people? What what happened to us? Mm -hmm. yeah, I think I was, what, 18? Yeah. Yeah, 17, 18 years old. Senior, it was senior year. Yeah. I just remember, you know, me and Peach just was diehard hip hop fans, like hip hop heads. Like, we cried, like, that. we was going to drive to New York and go to the funeral. Like, that's how yeah. we, we would, whew. We was we was hurt. I, I was like, we should just wear black hoodies and Tims for the every day to school for the next. Yeah. Like <laughs> that's how deep we was in it. Um, but yeah, but his music. Man. What's your favorite Biggie song? Juicy. Oh, that's your favorite yes. one. Yes. Juicy. It, it, it's a, oh, it's about juicy the, it's about the memories and mm -hmm. that was a I think that was his first song. Mm -hmm. um, that I remember hearing, uh, and it was right after uh, uh, Craig Mack. I remember. With the remix? Yep. And Flavor in your ear? Yeah, I remember. No, I'm talking about what? just after Craig Mack in general. I remember Craig oh, Mack. Hit when he the came city. out. He hit the city of Eden, and it was like, man, there's no better song ever made. It was like, and then Juicy came out, and I'm like, Hey. What are they doing up there in New York? <laughs> like, these dudes are Hey, everybody started trying to talk with like, New York accents like, in the what? South. They were like, hey, but son. I'm like, man, who, who is this dude, <laughs> this Puff Daddy dude? Like, what? He was, he, did, what he is was he putting doing? them hits out. You was, you was, like, he was, I, Yeah, woo. I remember. And it just, yeah. that, that song Big made Papa. me, it was one of them, it was one of the, one of the rap songs that I remember me and my mom loved. Like yeah. you know, like you, it would come and cause on. because it had old school. Yeah, it, it had old school music. Yeah. You know, and, you know, and they didn't mind the yeah. sample. Like this is a nice song. Yeah, and, you yeah. know, and then it, it kind of just it opened up in a way where it grabs you, and you just it's like you know, you're talking about trying to feed his daughter. Yeah, it was like it was one of those where you kind of chuckle, but you could relate to it. Yeah. Like, Man, I, I understand why you was doing what you was doing, you know, but you know what I mean? But yeah, Juicy is my favorite. Remember seeing Biggie in concert? <clears throat> yes. Remember mm -hmm. my, my story, my encounter well, I with Biggie? I snuck. I, I, <laughs> huh? You snuck? Yeah. I, you talking about the A&T? Yeah, yeah. So my encounter with Biggie Smalls, very, very A&T, don't hold it against me. I, you know, I would have gave y'all that, that $15. We meant well, okay? I was with my... my sister and my cousins. I'm the youngest thing. Um, and this is when they used to do the concerts at the gym and at A&T. And t, at a &T, a &T. Yeah. And all of them was there. Biggie, Junior Mafia, like it was a whole, yeah. man, Bad Boy had it on lock for the homecoming. And it was packed. Nobody, they won't let nobody else in. So there was a side door that people was you trying to get in. in. Yep. And I was in the mix. And when, when the door finally opened, everybody like bum rushing and I got trampled. And so, because you had no business being in there, got a tramp. <laughs> and so they didn't have to put me in the back of the ambulance, <laughs> right by the back door. But he walked in, and yeah. he looked at me. He was like, "You all right, Ma?" I was like, 
<laughs> that was my only little quick encounter. Yeah. But I hadn't got the whole breath knocked out of me. Couldn't even say nothing like crying. I just wanted to get in there to see the show. Probably still, looking dusty. Still did get in there after though. It still still went in there after. But that's my encounter. But man, being able to see, man, we saw some of the best. Yeah. In hip hop, mm -hmm. like at A and T Homecoming, A and T G H O E, greatest homecoming on earth. Yeah. I'm an honorary Aggie. I ain't go, but I went to enough homecomings to where I feel like uh, Aggie pride is inside of me. So, all right, all right. Let's okay, pull it. Pull pull okay, another. let's do it. Oh man, I ain't looking. Okay, let me see. All right. Oh, what back? No, this is. This is too easy. Man. Is it easy? Yeah, this If you easy. read it right. No, nah, this is too easy. It's got the answer in man, it. Man, yeah, this this too easy too. Go for nah, it. No, you go ahead. All right. She became hip hop's first female artist to release a solo album, Light as a Rock. Oh, MC Light. <laughs> MC Light. <laughs> got a who? Got to have a what? Got to get a rough neck. Got a rough neck. Oh. Got to get a rough neck. Man, I need it in dope. the morning because I got to get a rough neck. Oh. <laughs> Hey, it's it's like, almost like, uh, you know, I always, every time I hear her name, I always say, like, I know her. You know why? Why? MC Light on every commercial. <laughs> she going to voice over every, she going get, to get to the it, money, MC okay? MC Light is getting the bag. Like, I, I hear her voice and I be like, oh, I know this person. Like, I, If it ain't Lena Wake, it's MC it's Light. It's Lena and MC Light. <laughs> Yeah. Getting it all. <laughs> Listen, Getting it all. MC Light <laughs> made it so cool for girls to, to rock the, like, the Tims yep. and, like, the baggy club. Muffin thought she was MC Light. Crystal King did, did too. Hey, I remember Crystal. Carl Crystal. Canai sagging, Timbo's dragging. Man, <laughs> listen. Fronting on, fronting on the light like you knocked the boots last night. But yeah. he a roughneck, so that's all right. Hey, <laughs> hey. Don't take me back, okay? MC I love MC Light. Light. Yeah, I still love too. her. Me too. Um, this artist's hit album, Illmatic, was released in 1994. Nazir. <laughs> <laughs> hey, one of my first Nazir. interviews when I did the Buster Brown show in Greensboro, I interviewed Nas. Remember I, that? I, listen, Nas has got to be. If you did, a, if we did a vote across the country who is the coolest person that that brother so laid back that is the coolest I this dude that this dude make cool. you feel I know with me I used to be like man I'm goofy <laughs> like <laughs> you know what I think you see Nas, Nas and you'd be like Nas make you my, Nas make you do this you watch some of Nas you'd be like man calm yourself down. <laughs> calm <laughs> down <laughs> You, know, you need I to think, relax, bro. Like, I think he just is <clears throat> a, is at peace. I babe, think he, I think he got peace. Ever since the first time, how you had that kind of peace when you like sixteen? He had probably a solid foundation, and also just really was aware of who he was. Think about oh, think man. about when the whole beef happened with or him and Jay Z, right? And he and they was like he was like his mom was like, no, we're not doing this. Yeah. Like how you tell like. Grow me, uh, uh, like like a whole conversation was had. I bet you, I bet you Nas ain't never yelled. <laughs> Listen, I gotta find a picture of uh, when I was doing the Buzz Brown show and I interviewed him. He had the wave cap on with the jersey, but remember he had one sleeve out, and so the jersey was around like that. You know what I'm talking about? I know. He that, had like man. the jersey around his neck, but you had to one go, sleeve. You had to go point out the one whack moment. He won't whack though. He was that, cool. That, you tried to do the same man. look. Nah, I ain't tried to do that. Yeah, you did, baby. Nah, I was big on. So you did the same on, look nah, with, nah, with your orange jersey. Nah, I ain't did the do rag. But but now the new well. Nah, I ain't did the do rag. You did. You did yeah. used to rock a do rag. Nah, nah, I didn't do that. It's all right. Find the proof. You can't prove it. You All right, on like to the, the next one. On to the next one. Listen, it's uh, all right. It's part of the culture of hip hop back in the day. Trying to think. We have to do now before we move on. What? Your favorite Nas song. Oh, let me see. I got mine. It's real easy. Real easy. The, real easy. What's your favorite? If I rule the world. Yeah. Imagine, Imagine that. that. <laughs> I, you know, I feel all my sons. You know, that song is I always love, playing love in my head baby. when I cook. And then New York State of Mind. That was like, that's when I was young. 
and I would play that song. I had him in the cassette. He was the first artist after I got off of this a might cassette. be cassette. Yeah, I had him in the cassette. Oh, I wasn't alive. Yeah, you was. No, I yeah, you I, was. I you had him in the cassette I, I with the little Walkman. Oh, I, I had him. A Walkman. It I don't was. Know what that uh, is. It was my boy, um, Special Ed. Uh huh. First. Yeah, because you thought you were Special Ed because y'all yeah, hair I did. was alike. Yeah, I, li- I love Special Ed. Yeah, you I like Special Ed. You. I got it made and magnificent. It was uh-huh. my. That was my jam. Then yeah, I heard of this I... dude. Then I heard of this dude, and he was introduced to me by um, old boy that moved down. From uh, New York, um, who? That moved down. That his sister used to be dancing on Hakeem. the wall. Hakeem. Uh, yeah. Hakeem had had him playing, and I was, I was like, man, who is? He's like, this is Nas, and I got the cassette tape. And New York State of Mind had never stepped a foot in New York, but something about that song, I was like, I love this dude. This now, dude. He was a lyricist too. Yeah. And a very chill lyricist. Laid back. He's yeah. just cool. Yeah. Like, he is really the definite, like, he's just cool, like the coolest yeah. cat. But then I think uh, uh, the album with him and his face on it when he was a kid, that's what the one with him and Lauren Hill with that song on it. Um, what, is that Illmatic? No. That was, it was written? It was written. <sighs> yeah. Is that the name of that's it? That's the best album. Is that the album? It was written. It was written. Oh. It was his face on New York's Vanity. It was written. Okay. Oh, it's his face yeah. on It Was Written. Yeah, oh, okay. it was written. That's that's my favorite album. It, it was, was written? It was written. Oh, okay. Yeah, I remember. And then on the college, he did the, you remember the album he did with uh, Foxy Brown and AZ? The Firm? Oh, oh yeah. Oh, the Firm. I yeah. forgot about that. Yeah. yeah. I yeah. might play that today. Yeah, that was a good one, too. Yeah. And, yeah. Foxy. First of all, did we get Foxy her, her moment? We didn't pick it. That was you was you was that was before we started. Oh, before we started. Oh, yeah. okay, my bad. Yeah. So if we pick it, then you can. You yeah, because you know I thought I was Foxy Brown in high school. Uh, All right, let's go get another. Yeah, stop get playing. Another. Before Lauren, I was Foxy. Okay. Hold on, let me see. I feel like my questions are too easy. Oh for yeah, you. this is way too easy. But I'm gonna let. Go All ahead. right, let's go. This artist put out a song to combat. <laughs> the misogynistic tone. Oh, Queen Latifah. Queen Latifah. U N I T Y. That was a, and that U-N-I-T-Y. was the hint. Hey, look, look what the hint is. That's a unity. Hey, hey hint unity. Queen. Who they Queen. calling a, a what? Oh yeah. Oh, I said that. I put that itch on there real quick for you, bro. Huh? Yeah, Jr. You, you beep. You gonna beep that out? Why you say it in a bad Did way? Did you say the bad word? Yeah, I said it. I said it. Oh, I didn't. We talk about Queen. I said it. It's all about context. But you, you beep. Yeah. Okay. Hey, Queen Latifah, she's just so powerful. Like, the thought mm-hmm. that she even created a name for herself so that people had to call her Queen. Man. Come on, Queen. <clears throat> I love you, honey. Very good. Okay. The clothes used to be, like, I just used to, like, watch her and her look looked like a queen. Like, you just looked at her, like, man. Yeah. Amazing. Like, yeah. Um, and she's been like, every time I think about her, I always think about how she took that platform just like LL and turned it into all the things that we know to be queen, even outside yep. of rapping, right? Shoot, yeah. Singing, like, yeah, jazz, yeah. Mm-hmm. Acting, acting, producing, everything. Like, yeah. And kudos unlike, to you. unlike a whole lot of people who tried to dabble in that acting world. No, she good. Uh, yeah. That girl good. That girl good. That girl good. <laughs> <laughs> listen, listen. Queen said, I am here to stay. She said, I'm, re- I'm, I'm Broadway. Here to stay. Like, yeah. performing, like, amazing. Yeah. We love you, Queen. Outstanding. Uh, now, this is way too easy. <clears throat> that, and that, that was very easy for you, so let's go. Well, this ain't even. No, nah, come on with it. Ghost Face Killer, Old Dirty. Wu Tang. See, I ain't even got to even finish. Cream. So, Best Wu-Tang Ghost Face Killer, ODB, time. Method Man, to name a few, were members of this hip-hop group from Staten Island, New York. Mm-hmm. Wu-Tang! Wu-Tang! Yeah, Wu was... Wu. Hey, who was your favorite out of the Wu-Tang clean? <sighs> I know who mine was. 
I'm talking about the M E T H O D man. M E T H O D man. Hey, uh, you get off my. You don't know me, and you don't know my. Oh, um, hey, never. I don't know, man. Never, I, I, boy. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, I, I don't know, man. I don't know. I, I oh, mean, dirty. I don't know. I can go with Ghostface. I love Ray. I had. I, I had, did like. I, listen, I had. Listen. I did like Rayquan. Me, meth. Meth. The shit. I, I, I can't pick a favorite on this. I can't pick a favorite. Remember, was we together at Virginia Beach at the mall when we seen them? Was that? No, that was you. That you, you, you was with your girlfriend. Oh, you was at the, you was at the room. Them. He was at the room. <laughs> drooling all over Mel. Now, Mel weren't there. Me and you might not have still been together if Mel had been at the mall. <laughs> <laughs> we were still new in our relationship. If Mel had been at the mall, we might not have made it. <laughs> we, you know, it was 98, okay? Uh, we was just getting back together. That's what I, he probably would have thought I was Laura Hill. Cause no. that's when I had my, my Tims on with my bikini, no, no, okay? He, he would have thought you thought you was Laura Hill. <laughs> 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 no, but it was, uh, it was, it was, who all was it? I know it was, it was Ray Kwan. Um, Did I get to see them? And it was one other, was it? In Ghostface. I think they was at the mall and me and Peaches, we about lost it. We was like, oh my God. I don't think I got to see Wu-Tang perform. I never got I, to see them what? perform. I never, I never got to see them. I seen meth. And was it maybe Meth and Redman perform at AZ? Mm -mm. Have I ever seen Wu Tang? I don't perform? think I seen Wu perform. But I do remember you know I do remember be? them and the impact they had. Man, I, I them remember, and Onyx. Yes. Well they were they were after Onyx. They were and they and I don't want to come. I mean I, Onyx was good, but this is yeah. Wu Tang. No, I'm just saying like group because <laughs> there was never really like rap groups. Yeah. They were like those, you know. Well, but yeah, yeah, they was a little different. Mm -hmm. What was that song that Ghostface had? It had everybody in their feelings. Had everybody in their feelings. That thing went hard. What was that song? Mm -hmm. Might have to look it up. <clears throat> Can't think. Come on, of we it. got a little bit more time. All right, all right, one more. Oh, one more. this is a perfect way for mine to be ended today. Let me see. Cause this could go on and on, but this right here. <laughs> This mine is way too easy, but these are great conversation starters. Okay, all right. Well, it's easy for us. We got to think. We lived through this generation. The majority of it. See, that's how you know our generation was the best, because the majority of this box is built on stuff that we lived through. It's so we think tribute. it's easy. Yeah. Okay. This person was a guest host, or he was the host on MTV, uh, Pimp My Rides. Oh, uh, exhibit. Exhibit. Exist. We just was talking about I didn't even have to day. read the card. You see that? I just looked, glanced at him like, <laughs> hey, that pimp my ride. Yeah. Hey, that thing was. We only watched it because of the exhibit. I mean, the show was great, but yeah. it was like, oh, that's exhibit, you know? Yeah. This right here. He made that show. Yeah. Exhibit made that Absolutely. show. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, man. Before there was like, before I became like a hip hop head, this was my people's right here. Okay. In 1987, Girls Ain't Nothing But Trouble was released. First print? Big yes! Jazz and Jeff? Yes! Man. And a year later, the single parents just don't understand. Man, yes. in eighth grade, when me and Chance first dated, man, Will Smith was my idol, okay? I wanted to do everything. I wanted to have my own, uh, I wanted to rap. Like like Will Smith, everything. I wanted to have a, a TV show. I wanted to dress like him. I was like, this is I want to be Will Smith. Yeah, that's who I want to do. That I want to do what he doing. Will man, I, man. What what's Will's Fresh Prince of Bel Air? What is the best song he ever made? That parents just don't understand. You it's a it's a classic, but summertime. Hey, I was gonna say it's a classic, but summertime lives <clears throat> every year. People play it every year. He probably has made more money off summertime than he made off of any record he had. Oh yeah, absolutely. Hey, remember when he did Wild Wild West too? That was that it, was, it was uh, uh, 
Like people was like joking it. Oh but yeah, it was, it that's because so he did funny. that movie. He yeah. did that movie. But I still love yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. What, what else did you do? Uh, I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think what other song. He came out with one song. What was that song? Oh, maybe it was for the Men in Black soundtrack. You know, what, what is it, JR? Here comes the Men in Black. Oh, here comes the Men in Black. Oh, get jiggy with it. Nah, 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 nah. Nah, 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 nah. Get jiggy with it. Oh, that welcome to Miami. You listen. Yeah. Will Smith. I love you, Will. Mm-hmm. You know. Another one. Another one of those people like Queen. Yeah. You know. He definitely they, is iconic in, in the hip hop world. Listen. Who went on to do other yeah, things. Yeah, they did Absolutely. like great things. Yeah. Like you talking about, it's something to be said about LL, Queen, Ice Cube. Yeah. Uh... Uh, Will Smith, it's a couple of those people who have really, like, they they opened the doors for a few people and knocked down well, a many few. Many people. Yeah, like, A lot big. of people. Yeah, it's big. You know, the, the thing that I always commend um, historic figures like them is, you know, now having, like, a little taste of what it is to live your life out loud publicly is them having these long-lasting careers and being completely human, but having to do it in the public eye and not losing themselves in the process, right? Um, but having to make mistakes in the public eye, having to be, you know, scrutinized, uh, lied on, uh, you know, people make up whatever they want to without knowing these people, and they still continue on. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? So, Showing up. to all the people, like especially the, these hip hip hop icons, like we salute you. We are grateful for you for the road that you paved, for the stands that you took, um, for the music that you made, for the memories you gave us. Oh, the memories that you have given us that will last well after we're all gone from here, right? Uh, hip hop is, it's a state of mind, it's a feeling, um, it's a, a movement. Mm -hmm. It continues to be now, even though music has changed so much, it's still grounded in storytelling. And now we're telling different stories, right? Because everybody has a different life experience. But it's definitely, uh, has shaped the world in a different way. I remember like one of the first times hearing hip hop played on like a commercial and I was like, babe, they playing. Yeah. <laughs> this is crazy. You know, yeah. like and in movies and in movies that without black people. But you hearing the music or like mm -hmm. at an NBA game on TV, you hear it playing and it was like, it's everywhere now. You know, music is like love, it's a universal language. So, uh, yeah, hip hop, we love you. Mm -hmm. You know, as they said in uh, Brown Sugar, when did you fall in love with hip hop? <laughs> when did you fall in love with hip hop? Yeah. Uh, you got anything else, babe? We gotta nope. close it up. That's it. Yeah, I'm good. Y'all keep celebrating. Listen, we. This is a amazing game, trivia swag. Thank you so much for sending it to us. If y'all want to, like, you know, start some conversations, honey, check it out and get some trivia swag in your life. All right. But continue having a, a celebration this year, 50 years of hip hop to all the icons out there. We salute you. I feel like I should take a do a little rap to wrap us up out of here to wrap it up. You get it to wrap it up. You want to give me a beat? Well, <clears throat> it's come to the end with Fridays with Tab and Chance. Come on, babe, keep it going. It's come to the end with Fridays with Tab and Chance. I Next. Can't. <laughs>
<laughs> Next week, we do I it again. Hey. I can't. I can't. I can't be Babe, a part of this. If you didn't mess the beat up, I was finna tear it up. No, you tore it up. <laughs> For real, man. <laughs> I'm not, you're not, I, don't I came want, in the I dough. don't want this I producer said it credit. Before. <laughs> this is a credit. I never I want you to do the beat no more. <laughs> Messing it up, I'm a spin the go. I just named all the people that I love, all the people I grew up listening to. You don't sound like none of them, and you want me to be a part of this? Because I don't want it, none of this. I don't sound like none of them because I'm original, but I'm trying to do something historical oh, right now. The, I'm being Historically, new. just say, hey, listen, let them people who are gifted at it do it, and you just listen to it. When I come out with a rap album, don't you dare try to get producer credit. Oh, oh, Mona. Baby, remember when you used to do music, I, I, and you wrote hey, the rap hey, for me? Hey. Closed, no, do, do you close, remember hey, that? Hey, close them out. Because you believed hey, in my my Close my skill. them out. You you are not you are not Foxy Brown. You are Tabitha Brown. Y'all, <clears throat> let them hate, and if they hate, let them hate, and watch the money pile up. <laughs> Bring the beat in. Y'all going about your business. <laughs> Have the most amazing day. But Friday, even if you can't have a good one, Friday, don't you dare go messing up nobody else's hands. But on phone, phone, Friday, you want to lick your lips Friday, out for the camera? Friday, I'll your upper lips thing. <laughs> See y'all next time. <laughs> <laughs> Thank y'all for watching. And don't forget to click here for more episodes. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Very good. <laughs>